guys, this is your local grill guy, Jeremy. Coming back at you again with another grill tip. It's a beautiful day today. We're cooking. As you can see, we've got the grills rolling. So what better time to bring you another tip? So I'm going to show you how to make some really simple, easy barbecue baked beans smoked on the Traeger. Um, it's an easy recipe, but you're going to love it. Your friends and family are going to love it. You're going to make it every time. It makes a great side for, you know, Boston butt, anything like that. So first off, we're going to start with, I've got one medium yellow onion and three jalapenos. The jalapenos have been de-veined, uh, de-seeded. I wanted to have a little bite, but not too spicy. So I've partially cooked these. I want the onions to get kind of translucent, but not fully cooked. So to that, I'm going to add my beans. I've got two 28 ounce cans of pork and beans here. I'm just gonna dump them right in there, liquid and all. It's all good. Don't need to waste nothing. One can, two can. All right. With that, we're gonna do about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Pour it right in. We'll mix it up in a minute. Get a couple spoonfuls of Dijon mustard. You can use whatever kind of mustard you want. That'll be good. Gotta have some garlic. Can't forget the garlic. About two small spoons of that. This stuff's pretty potent. All right, we've got half a cup brown sugar. This is dark brown sugar. Make sure it's moist and not clumping together. Otherwise, it's not gonna mix well. You see, that's gonna mix real well. Look at that. That's the good stuff, that's fresh. And then last but not least, well, not quite last, but we're almost there. So we're gonna take your favorite barbecue sauce and add just about a cup full of that. This is the Traeger apricot sauce. It's like a more traditional sweet barbecue sauce. I've already got some jalapeno in there, so we've got the spice that we need. We're gonna mix this all up that's gonna take me a minute. I'm gonna to top it off with some bacon, but first we gotta stir. We gotta stir, stir, stir. So we'll come back to you in just a minute. See you guys. All right guys, we got everything all nice and stirred together. I'm using just regular old cheap roasting pans from the grocery store. If you really wanna take it up a notch, you can put this in a 12 inch cast iron skillet and it'll just present a little bit better that way. I like to double up on these roasting pans too, so they don't you know collapse when you're holding them from the sides like this because that's a lot of weight in there and it's liquidy you know all that jazz anyway so everything's mixed together i've got some bacon that i partially cooked i mean you could eat it like this but it's going to be chewy i just want it to render but i don't want it fully cooked because i'm fixing to put it back in the smoker anyway we're just going to sprinkle the top of these beans with some bacon you don't have to get fancy with it just get it in there And then of course, don't forget the most basic rule of cooking. Season everything. So get your favorite rub, salt, pepper, whatever you like. Sprinkle some of that on top. You don't have to be shy with it. You can use plenty of it. This is the Traeger rub. This is an AP rub, all purpose. You can use it on just about anything. that's good we've got the tailgater over here rolling low and slow 225 we're gonna smoke these beans for about an hour and a half 
beans on the grill lid down don't open it leave it alone let it go for at least an hour anyway we'll touch back with you guys when these things are ready we'll see what they look like all right guys so it's been right about an hour and a half now since we put the beans on the grill uh, i haven't opened the lid at all um, so i'm anxious to see what they're looking like you want to check it out with me real quick Oh yes, those are looking pretty good. Bacon's got a perfect color to it. But that's it guys, I mean, dice you up some jalapeno and some onion, some, get you your favorite beans, you know, a couple 28, 30 ounce cans. Doesn't have to be pork and beans, you can mix it up, do whatever you like. Dump them in there, liquid and all. Some of your favorite barbecue sauce. Uh, some seasoning, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Don't forget the brown sugar. You can't do baked beans without brown sugar. And of course, bacon on top. That's like the icing on the cake, right? So, uh, I mean, this smells awesome. I wish you guys could smell it. Uh, you'll just have to stop by the store one day on a Saturday and get a sample. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Check out our social media. We'll have all the tags for you right at the end of the video. And we really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good one.